Hey everyone, so we already have another manufacturer in the expo hall, and today it's Aegis. So as you can see on the elevator panel there, Consolidated Outland is still there, so if you missed any of the stuff from yesterday, you can still go check it out probably. But there's also going to be some new stuff today if you want to see that. Alright, so walking in, we're immediately met with the reclaimer. You can see why the hall is so big now, because they had to be able to fit that thing in there. And then we've got this map again. So there's actually a few hollows to see, so I'll go take a look at those in a second. But other than that, most of the Aegis ships are already in the game, so the big thing for today is going to be the ship sale on the website. But also they're fun to check out in game, because they're some of the best ships, especially for combat. So I'd recommend trying them out if you want to. Alright, so here we have the Saber Comet, which is basically just the skin of the Saber. And then front and center, like I said, we have the Reclaimer. And then here we have the normal Saber. Alright, so taking a look at this smaller room over to the right here. We've got the collection of Avengers, and there's quite a few variants of these. So here we have the Avenger Warlock, and that's the one with the EMP. And then here we have the Avenger Titan Renegade, which is basically an Avenger Titan, but with a different loadout. Here we have the Avenger Stalker, which is for bounty hunting. It's got prisoner pods in the back. And then here we have the regular Titan. Okay, so now taking a look at the other display hall over here, we have the Hammerhead and the two Gladius variants. So the Gladius is Aegis's light fighter, and then we have the Hammerhead, which is their anti-fighter patrol ship. This would definitely be one to check out if you haven't flown it before. It has a whole constellation's worth of firepower on each turret, and it has six of them. So now moving back into the main hall, here's a little description of the Reclaimer if you want to see that. And then we're going to check out the other side. Alright, so here in this room over here, I believe we have the Vanguard series. And this is another one of Aegis's ships that has a lot of variants. So here we have the Harbinger, which is the bomber variant. Here we have the Hoplite, which is the dropship variant. You can see those jump seats in there. Here we have the Warden, which is just an overall fighter. And then over here we have the Sentinel, which also has an EMP and is focused on e-warfare. Alright, so then in the last display hall over here, we have the Retaliator and the Eclipse. So Aegis is two bombers. So the Eclipse, as you can see from the way it looks, is a stealth bomber. And then the Retaliator here is kind of a stealth bomber as well, but it's much larger and eventually will have some other capabilities as well. Alright, so heading downstairs, we can look at some of the hollows in the display hall again. So the Redeemer is going to be a gunship, and it'll be in the game somewhat soon. So this is actually a new redesign. They've changed its external appearance quite a few times, but this new one seems to fit the Aegis look a little bit more than the previous one did. And the fact that they've been redesigning it means that it'll probably be in game sometime soon. Alright, then the next one we have is the Vulcan, and the Vulcan, I believe, is a repair and rearm ship, and it's kind of a small to medium size. 
Okay, and then the last hollow we have is the Nautilus, which is much bigger than those two. So this is a capital size mine layer and mine sweeper. It's about the same size as the Polaris and it'll be able to set up a lot of either explosive mines or remote sentry mines. I wouldn't expect this one for a while though. So yeah, overall, while well, Aegis doesn't really have anything new to show off today, although I believe the hollow of the Vulcan might be new, there definitely isn't anything quite as big today and as new as the Nomad was yesterday. But Aegis ships are good at what they do, so if you wanted to check out some of them, and they definitely have some cool ships like this Reclaimer here, then head on over to the Expo Hall and try them out. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks!